Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit six, lesson five. Reasoning about equations and tape diagrams, part two. Problem number one from seventh grade unit four, lesson two. Here are some prices customers paid for different items at a farmer's market. Find the cost for one pound of each item. A, $5 for four pounds of apples. Four pounds of apples divided by four equals one pound of apples. $5 divided by four equals $1.25. So apples are $1.25 per pound. B, $3.50 for a half a pound of cheese. A half a pound times two equals one full pound, and $3.50 times two equals seven. So one pound of cheese costs seven dollars. C, eight dollars and twenty-five cents for one and a half pounds of coffee beans. One and a half pounds divided by one and a half equals one pound. 8.25 divided by one and a half equals five and a half. So one pound of coffee cost five and a half dollars or five dollars and fifty cents per pound. D, $6.75 for three-fourths of a pound of fudge. Three-fourths of a pound divided by three-fourths equals one pound. $6.75 divided by three-fourths equals nine. So one pound of fudge costs nine dollars. E, $5.50 for six and a quarter pounds of pumpkin. Six and a quarter pounds divided by six and a quarter equals one pound. Five dollars and fifty cents divided by six and a quarter equals 88 cents. This means that pumpkin sells for 88 cents per pound. Problem number two from seventh grade unit five lesson nine. Find the products. A. We have a positive times a negative which equals a negative. 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 5 is 15. B. We have a negative times a positive, which equals a negative. We can cross-cancel, and this leaves us with negative 1 times 1 over 1 times 1. And negative 1 over 1 is the same as negative 1 divided by 1, which is equal to negative 1. C. Negative 2 over 39 times 39. This is a negative times a positive, which is equal to a negative. We can cross cancel. 39 goes into 39 once, and 39 goes into 39 once. We're left with negative 2 times 1 over 1 times 1. And negative 2 over 1 is the same as negative 2 divided by 1, which equals negative 2. D, two-fifths times negative three-fourths. This is a positive times a negative, so the answer is going to be a negative. We can cross-cancel. Two goes into two once, and two goes into four twice. One times three is three, and five times two is ten. Negative three-tenths. Problem number three. Here are two stories. A family buys six tickets to a show. They also each spend $3 on a snack. They spend $24 on the show. Diego has 24 ounces of juice. He pours equal amounts for each of his three friends and then adds six more ounces for each. Here are two equations. A. Which equation represents which story? Six times X plus three equals 24 represents the family buying six tickets to a show and then each of them spending three dollars on a snack. They spend a total of twenty-four dollars on the show. The equation three times x plus six equals twenty-four represents Diego having twenty-four ounces of juice, pouring equal amounts for each of his three friends, and then adding six more ounces for each. B. What does x represent in each equation? For Diego, x represents the number of ounces of juice Diego originally poured for each friend. For the family at the show, x represents the cost of a ticket. C. Find the solution to each equation. Explain or show your reasoning.
On the left in red, you have 6 times x, which is 6x, plus 6 times 3, which is 18. 6x plus 18 equals 24. And on the right-hand side in green, we have 3 times x, which is 3x, plus 3 times 6, which is 18. To get the x by itself, we need to subtract 18 from both sides of each of these equations. On the left in red, we're left with 6x equals 6. And on the right, in green, we're left with 3x equals 6. On the left in the red, we'll divide both sides by 6. 6x divided by 6 equals 1x, and 6 divided by 6 equals 1. So x equals 1. On the right-hand side in green, we'll divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3 is 1x, or x, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So x equals 2. D. What does each solution tell you about its situation? This tells me that the tickets to the show cost $1 and that Diego originally poured two ounces of juice. Problem number four. Here is a diagram and its corresponding equation. Find the solution to the equation and explain your reasoning. This tape diagram that's worth 24 is divided up into six different sections. Inside each of the sections, there's an x plus 1. That's a total of 6x plus 6. And remember, that equals 24. Look at the equation. 6 times x, that's 6x, plus 6 times 1. And that equals 24. To get the x by itself, we need to subtract 6 from both sides. 6x plus 6 minus 6 equals 6x and 24 minus 6 equals 18. So we're left with 6x equals 18. We need to make that just 1x. So let's divide both sides by 6. x times 6 divided by 6 equals 1x or x, and 18 divided by 6 equals 3. So x equals 3. The tape diagram is made up of six sections that total 24. 24 divided by six sections is four, each section has a value of 4. x plus 1 equals 4. And since 3 plus 1 equals 4, the value for x must be 3. Problem number 5 from 7th grade Unit 5 Lesson 7. Below is a set of data about temperatures. The range of a set of data is the distance between the lowest and the highest value in the set. What is the range of these temperatures? First, we need to put these temperatures in order from least to greatest. Now I can easily see that it ranges from negative 5 to positive 22. To find the distance between the lowest and the highest value, I need to subtract the lowest value from the highest value. That would be 22 minus a negative 5. And minus a negative is the same as the opposite of a negative. So I can rewrite this as 22 plus 5. That equals 27. So the range of these temperatures is 27. Problem number 6 from 7th grade, Unit 4, Lesson 11. A store is having a 25% off sale on all shirts. Show two different ways to calculate the sale price for a shirt that normally costs $24. We need to figure out what 25% of 24 is. As a decimal, 25% can be written as 0.25, and of means times, so 0.25 times 24. That equals 6, so we know that 25% of 24 is 6, and this is a 25% off sale, so we need to subtract 6 from the original price of $24. $24 minus $6 equals $18. The sale price would be $18. Here's a different way to calculate the sale price. This rectangle represents the price of the shirt, $24. Since the store is having a 25% off sale, we can divide this up into four groups of 25% because that totals 100% of the price of the shirt. Since there's four groups, we can divide 24 by 4. And 24 divided by 4 equals 6. That means that each one of these sections is worth $6. 
And since each section represents 25%, that means that 25% of the price of this shirt is $6. We can substitute each section with $6. Remember, it's a 25% off sale. So we can take one of these 25% off by removing one of the sections. Now that we've taken off $6 or 25% of the price of the shirt, you can see that the sale price is $18. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.